Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a few minutes ago, just got done fixing, working on my AC compressor. So I took my shirt off so I didn't get it dirty. But we come down here this morning, didn't have any birds in the incubator and come back just a few minutes ago and there's a buttload of them. So we're gonna turn this around, show you. So like I said, I come down here this morning, uh, we was running this incubator. Uh, of course, we, we ain't touched the water. We ain't touched nothing. We ain't added no water, nothing. It normally runs this in my basement. So come down here a few minutes ago to check on them, make sure that everybody was hatching out. And look how many have hatched out. Well, this one just come out, so he's still a little wobbly. I'm gonna work on trying to hatch this thing up. Uh, I'm gonna work on trying to uh, get these eggs that are already hatched out. Uh, these chicken eggs here are gonna need to be turned uh, one day, so I'm gonna turn them tonight. And hopefully everybody makes it. Uh, we'll get these over in the bridger tomorrow. So like I said, we're gonna get these out of here, uh, get them out of the incubator, put them into the brooder. Uh, we've got some in there from the last hatch that are uh, still sitting in there. Uh, they're probably pushing four or five weeks old. Uh, so they should be able to go out in another cage outside. Uh, we're gonna get them moved out probably tomorrow. Uh, we may make a video of that. Uh, other than that, we got four chickens in there too. They're a little bit older than those quail. We need to get those moved out too and get our brooder cleaned up, get these other birds back in there. Uh, you can leave these birds up to 24 hours. Uh, it ain't gonna hurt them. Uh, just as long as you get them out within 24 hours, once they dry, those birds are pretty much all ready to dry because I ain't touched it. Like I ain't put no water in it at all. Uh, in my basement, it normally stays about that. Uh, the humidity stays about that. Uh, so normally we have a good hatch rate. Uh, so far, looks like we're doing pretty good. So we'll see you tomorrow. I'm about to say goodbye. So you guys down here wanting to tell you something. They was wanting on the camera, apparently. William's got to say. Nothing. So as you know, uh, you've seen her before. This is Penelope. Uh, we've got her. We've had her since about February. We've had this one since about February. We got these two at the same time. Uh, she had a baby, I believe, before. No, this one had a baby before we got her. Uh, hopefully soon. We should be having babies of our own as long as Billy bred these two. Uh, these two here I got in February. This one here I got before vacation. So she was possibly bred already by a black Billy goat uh, about her same size. Uh, but these two, Mia, Penelope, and... We ain't really got a name for her. Uh, my oldest daughter is calling her Rocky. So I don't really know. She don't really look like a Rocky to me. And of course you got Billy back there. Uh, we've got him tied up because he keeps aggravating her where she's new. Uh, she's possibly already bred. So, and she kind of looks like she is pretty, pretty well bred. So. We don't know for sure. Uh, she claimed that they was in, uh, the Billy was in with her for about a month. And I don't really know for sure because she's pretty wide. Either she's uh, pretty good size or maybe she is bred and about to have babies. Uh, but these two are supposed to have babies if they're gonna have babies by the end of June, 1st of July, somewhere around there, if they bred, uh, not really sure. So, what do you want to tell? 
when the chicken was fighting and they were going like that fighting and they was going like doing that and they were forming her wings and they were crazy. Yeah, those chickens were crazy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just figured I'd give you an update on the goats they wanted to speak. So there they are and our newest addition. Uh, she's about, we've had her about two weeks now. So we're looking forward to having some babies soon.